In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set limits in AutoCAD. Setting limits is an essential skill for anyone working with AutoCAD because it allows you to define an invisible boundary that can help manage your workspace more effectively. This boundary not only limits the grid display, but also helps to control where you can click or enter point locations within the drawing area. It's a simple yet powerful way to make sure everything stays organized and within the working area you're focusing on. Let's dive right in. To set limits in AutoCAD, you'll first want to access the command line. The command we're interested in is called limits. So go ahead and type limits into the command line and hit enter. This action is what tells AutoCAD that you want to establish a rectangular boundary in your drawing. Now, to better understand this, imagine I've created a square that's 1,000 by 1,000 units. This square is going to represent the area that I want to set as my limits. To set these limits properly, we're going to define two points, the lower left corner and the upper right corner of our limit boundary. For the square I've prepared, our lower left corner is positioned at 0, 1 to 0. This is essentially the origin point for the square. Next, we'll need to define our upper right corner. Based on the size of our square, this corner will be located at 1000 to 1000. By setting these two points, we're specifying the exact area within which all our work should be contained. Once you've defined these points, the next crucial step is enabling these limits. You do this by typing limits into the command line once more and pressing enter. After that, type limits once again, followed by on, and hit enter. What we've done here is we've effectively activated the boundary we've defined. Now that it's active, you'll notice that when you're working within this space, AutoCAD will enforce these boundaries. Let's take a closer look at how this works in practice. If you try to draw a line that starts within this limit boundary and extends beyond it, AutoCAD will restrict you from doing so. Similarly, if you try to initiate a line from outside this boundary, it simply won't allow you to start. This restriction is incredibly useful when you want to maintain a clean and organized workspace, ensuring that all your drawings stay within a designated area. And that's all there is to it. By following these simple steps, you've successfully set up and activated limits in AutoCAD, helping you to better manage your drawing area with precision and efficiency. By mastering this feature, you can ensure your projects remain as organized and accurate as possible. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this tutorial helpful in mastering your AutoCAD skills.